over IRS form 8959, additional Medicare tax. So this is the tax form that you would complete if you are subject to the additional Medicare tax on either Medicare wages, self-employment income, or what is known as uh, Railroad Retirement Tax Act or RRTA compensation. So there are five parts to this tax form. We'll go through each of them in order. Uh, part one is the additional Medicare tax on Medicare wages. Part two, the additional Medicare tax on self-employment income. Uh, part three is the additional Medicare tax on RRTA competition, compensation. Part four is the additional Medicare tax, the total calculation. And then part five is the withholding reconciliation. So that's where you reconcile the tax versus what has already been withheld. And then you can report that on your tax return. So uh, again, the additional Medicare tax applies to certain income thresholds. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, depending on filing status. So for married filing jointly, that uh, threshold is $250,000. For married filing separately, that's $125,000. And then for all other statuses, single, head of household, or qualifying surviving spouse, that number is $200,000. As you'll see in here, uh, as we go through this form, uh, these two actually are combined uh, to come up with the additional Medicare tax liability. So the Medicare wages and self-employment income uh, for those people that may have a job and then a side hustle or a business, uh, those, those uh, wages and self-employment income are calculated together to come up with the additional Medicare tax. Uh, and that is separate from the RRTA compensation, which stands by itself. So in part one, we're going to uh, pull the Medicare wages and tips uh, information from form W-2, box five. Uh, so that is going to be uh, not necessarily the same as Social Security wages and tips uh, uh, because Social Security wages are uh, subject to what's known as a phase out. So once your income gets to uh, a certain point, uh, there is no longer Social Security uh, tax withheld. However, there is no such limit on Medicare uh, income. So if your Form W-2 says a million dollars of Medicare uh, wages, then you'll be paying the 1.45% uh, of that million dollars of wages. And then you'll have to calculate the additional Medicare tax on anything above the threshold. So that's an example. So in this case, John Doe, we've put his information up here and his total tips uh, and his wife, uh, Jane Doe's, uh, their total tip of wages are $215,000. Um, one of them has a side job where they are uh, have unreported tip income, uh, which they would complete on IRS form 4137. Line six amount is $10,000. And then finally, uh, wages from IRS form 8919, which is the uncollected Social Security and Medicare tax on wage income. Uh, let's just say that there's another $50,000 there. So all told, there's $265,000 of income, but we're only calculating the tax above the threshold. So we enter in $250,000 that represents their filing status. And the total amount that they're paying the additional Medicare tax for is actually only $15,000. So uh, what that looks like is they're paying 1.45% on top uh, on the first 250, and then they're paying 1.45% plus the additional 0.9% or a total of 2.35% on this extra $15,000. So we already account for the 1.45% elsewhere in Medicare withholdings. So we're just going to calculate the additional tax here, and that comes out to $135. So in this uh, scenario, John also has a side hustle where he's got an additional $50,000 of self-employment income uh, reported on Schedule SC. Oh. 
So that amount here from line six happens to be $50,000. So we'll put in in line nine, this is kind of confusing, but it does make sense. We'll put in the same threshold that we put in in line five up here, $250,000. Uh, we will then bring down this additional, the 265 number, that's the amount that was up here. We subtract that from the, uh, the Medicare or the, the tax withholding threshold, the Medicare reporting threshold. Uh, so that ends up being zero uh, or actually a negative number, but we report that as zero. So that means all of this is going to be subject to the additional Medicare tax. So if this number happened to be, uh, let's say, let's say we were maybe $15,000 beneath the threshold because this was actually uh, 235, then what would happen is we would subtract the 15,000 from the 50,000. We would have $35,000 here because we left $15,000 of this uh, threshold, this exemption amount uh, untouched up here. So we're going to account for it down here. So, um, but because we had already used up that max, uh, in part one, that means the full fifty thousand dollars of additional uh, self-employment income will be subject to the additional Medicare tax. So when we multiply this out, we get four hundred and fifty dollars. So let's imagine that just uh, one of those two. So let's imagine in, in a crazy scenario that uh, this they hold down all these jobs, they have this, and then one of them also has three hundred thousand dollars of compensation, uh, RRTA compensation from Form W-2. So that would be in box 14 instead of box uh, five. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just put that in there, still subject to a separate uh, $250,000 limit. So we've got $50,000 of the RRTA income subject to Medicare tax or the additional Medicare tax, and that comes out to $450. Part four consists of uh, one line where we total all of these numbers out and we arrive at $1,035. We would put this on line 11 of schedule two of your form 1040, schedule two being the additional taxes schedule. So all of that will eventually flow into your form 1040, but we report this directly on schedule two. So now we're gonna reconcile the Medicare tax calculation from what was already withheld. And I purposely included a couple of mistakes. Generally speaking, most people don't have to worry about their payroll provider or their employer uh, miss, I guess, un un under withholding or over withholding their Medicare tax because it is normally a flat fee, uh, flat 1.45%. So uh, where the confusion may come in is calculating any additional Medicare tax, uh, whether that was withheld or not. So I purposely put in a mistake just so that we can kind of muddle through this and, and, and kind of walk through the mechanics. So uh, their Form W-2 happened to have uh, uh, withholdings reported in box six. This is the Medicare withholdings. And that amount was 89.18. We're going to take the amount from line one, and again, this was the just the uh, the um, W-2 income, but um, this 89.18 was uh, paid based on calculations of all of this income, the two the, this all of this income. So um, we end up, and I apologize that ended up being a mistake. This should have been 205. That's That makes the 265 work. So apologize for the typo up here. We'll just take this 205 and now we'll carry this down here. Uh, so let's just say that this was $205,000 and then there's gonna be a different calculation here. Um, so let's just say that we miscalculated that amount and uh, let's see. I'll go to my trusty Excel spreadsheet here real quick. 
and we'll come up with and that's three thousand seventy five dollars so three thousand and seventy five dollars was the regular Medicare tax on those Medicare with uh, wages we're gonna subtract this line 21 from this number up here and we know that it will be different um, basically it's gonna be See if I can do this correctly. I'm kind of doing this on the fly. Um, so I'm sure I'll get fact checked on this one, uh, depending on. Uh, looks like it could be correct. So let's imagine that the additional Medicare withholding on the RRTA compensation from the form W-2 was $1,000. Our total additional Medicare tax withholding is the combination of these two, which ends up being, and then uh, we would put this on line 25C of form 1040, 1040 SR, 1040 NR. So that's the section of all the taxes that were withheld, and then that's part of the calculation to help you as a taxpayer determine whether or not you're due a refund or whether uh, you owe additional tax, you know, uh, when you file your tax return. So those are the mechanics of how this form works. Uh, I apologize if one of these miscalculations impacted this uh, or if the calculations were incorrect. Uh, I was kind of doing this on the fly after making an adjustment. So I apologize for any miscalculations. Uh, if you want to dive down into the details, I, I recently updated this article. Uh, so you can find that on teachmepersonalfinance.com. Go to the search bar, type in IRS form 8959, and our article should appear. We'll also put links in the show notes to the article as well as articles and videos on uh, the different tax forms that we discussed here and Schedule 2 as, as well. So if you like our articles, please subscribe to our newsletter. If you like our YouTube videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, if you have any questions or comments or if there's another topic that you'd like to see uh, covered in an upcoming video, please hit me up in the comment section. Thank you very much and have a great day.